One of the many topics dividing Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton last night was coal. One of the audience members at the town hall debate asked the candidates how their energy policies would minimize job loss while protecting the environment. And I asked two people familiar with the coal industry how the responses from Trump and Clinton stack up. I will bring our energy companies back. So I have a comprehensive energy policy. Presidential candidates Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton clashed over coal during Sunday night's debate in St. Louis. Trump claimed the energy sector is under siege by the Obama administration and says coal will last for a thousand years in America. We have to guard our energy companies. We have to make it possible. The EPA is so restrictive that they are putting our energy companies out of business. Clinton countered by promoting her $30 billion plan to provide financial security and job retraining for laid off miners. Those coal miners and their fathers and their grandfathers, they dug that coal out. A lot of them lost their lives, they were injured, but they turned the lights on and they powered our factories. I don't want to walk away from them. The president of the Kentucky Coal Association likes what Trump had to say. There's a real attempt by President Obama and his administration and their allies to uh, shed that blame and say, oh no, it's just simply market forces. And, and that's just not true. So it was good to see him reinforce that point. But former Eastern Kentucky coal miner Gary Bentley argues Trump offered no real solutions to the problems plaguing coal country. He uh, used the same propaganda that you hear a lot of where it's all blamed on the president or the EPA and uh, they don't bring up the market changes and the other issues that call it in the industry. Six of the top 25 coal producing states are considered swing states. And again, Trump and Clinton will debate for a third and final time October 19th.